Hi everyone, it's Lisa. Today on Doodle Draw Art, we're going to draw a cute leprechaun. We're going to start off by placing the leprechaun on our paper. I always like to do the sketch work first. So he's going to have a fairly large head and it's going to be right here in the center. And then the hat is going to be in this area here. And then the body will be here with the legs here and the arms here and I'll probably draw him holding a shamrock. So that's the base, oh, there you go, I just drew a leprechaun, no. All right, so now we have to start to put in the details. So let's start off with the hat. And so for the hat, I'm gonna draw the brim across the top of the forehead, and then the brim coming around from the back of his head, just like this. So I have one line here over the forehead, and then this boomerang shape going around the back. Now I'll draw the top part of the hat, which is just gonna come up on two sides like this, and then curve up over. And then I'll draw the brim and the buckle, not the brim, the ribbon, and the buckle just right here at the top. Next we'll draw his hair and his ears. So let's just make um, some hair that's sticking down from his hat underneath here. So we'll just see a little bit of his bangs sticking down. He's probably Irish because, you know, uh, he's going to have reddish hair here. He's definitely Irish. And then we're going to draw a beard. So the beard is going to start off right up here at the top of his hat, at the bottom of his hat, and it's going to come down the sides of his face like this. It's going to come down under his chin, and then he's going to have his little the little part that comes up toward his mouth right there. And then over to the other side and some more squiggles. And then we'll do the same thing over here, just finishing off his beard. Because we're drawing a man leprechaun. You could draw a woman leprechaun or a child leprechaun, but I'm drawing a man. So now he's going to be smiling because, of course, he's lucky and he's Irish. And then he's going to have some ears just sticking out back here. And a nose, let's see, a nose like this maybe. And let's put his eyes here. I'm going to say he's winking at us. Let's have one eye closed. And he's going to have a nice blue eye on the side, smiling at us, his Irish eyes. And let's put some bushy eyebrows on him too. So we're not going to see the whole eyebrow. It's hiding behind his hair a little bit there. But there he is. That's his face. Now for his body, we're going to come right underneath his beard and make the collar of his shirt, which is just going to be two rectangles that you can't see the ends of. So it's like a V that touches here and then another V that touches here. And then his necktie. So we're going to have a square right in here and then two lines that come down from the square. Now starting here at the top collar of his shirt, we're going to make the outside lapel of his jacket. So a V out and a V down. And then coming back up here, we're gonna connect this down straight. Same thing on this side, a V out and a V down. And connect it up like this. So this takes us to the bottom of his coat, which is just gonna come out like this and up under his arm. Out like this and up under his arm. And then he's wearing a vest. So we're gonna make a V here and a straight line down and a V here upside down. And then we'll put his buttons just like this. And right down here is where his belt buckle will be for his pants. So we're gonna make another two squares just like we did for this buckle. And then we'll maybe see the edges of his belt. And now he's wearing, what do they call these? Mm, I wanna say knickers. So we're just gonna make like, some kind of balloony pants down here at the bottom. And then I'm running out of room, but here's his little leg sticking out and his leprechaun shoes. Let me make sure you can see what I'm drawing here. Yep, you can. So here I go up and over and then a little buckle and then the rest of his foot. I just barely had enough room here. Good thing leprechauns don't have long legs. All right. Now we're gonna finish up here where his arms will be. So this part's easy. He's just gonna have one arm sticking out like this. And maybe it's gonna go behind his back here. Why not? He's hiding something behind his back. I don't know what. So all I did here was a V sideways and then a line. And then I just tucked this line in over a little bit this way. 
And now for the other hand, he's going to be coming out this way. He's holding out a, um, a shamrock. So I'm actually going to make a cuff here. And I'm going to move my shamrock over. You don't have to erase this, but I'm going to just because. Why not? All right, so he's holding it. So what we have to see his thumb. So we make this line for the edge of his hand. And then we just go around like this for the thumb. And now we're going to make the stem of the shamrock so that we can see where the rest of his hand will need to go. Um, so coming over this way, we're going to see his fingers grasping it like this. Perfect. And now we'll draw the shamrock. So we have one heart, two hearts, three hearts, and four hearts. Now I did a tutorial on how to draw shamrocks. If you want to check that out, you can. So this is how you draw a leprechaun. And now I'm going to make him beautiful by tracing it with my Sharpie and coloring it. So I'm going to get started with that and I'm going to do it in time lapse so that it will go faster for you. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked watching me draw this leprechaun. And I would love it if you liked watching this video, if you would click the like button. And if you would like to comment on this video, you could tell me what are you doing for St. Patrick's Day? Or what would you like me to draw next? Or did you draw a boy leprechaun or a girl leprechaun? And I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.